Kistama, he has had the benefit of a private education. He even went to a grammar school as well uh, and had a bursary. What, what do you think? Well, I mean, he's, he's obviously a, a hypocrite just by that measure. But, mm -hmm. you know, let's just look at the, uh, what he's advocating. He's advocating what I think is the lowest form of politics, the politics of envy, stripping um, charitable status from schools that actually are the pride. Uh, you know, the, one thing this country does really well is the public school system. And it's an easy target for him, isn't it? Because he thinks he's going to score easy political points attacking what is regarded as the private school uh, system, but they're not private. They do do charitable works. Mm. That's why they have charitable status. Now, I was on the governing body for a while of rugby school, which is my alma mater as well. Rugby has about a third of its students who get bursaries. So these are not children who are getting scholarships because they're particularly mm. clever. It's basically normal children, but from financially disadvantaged backgrounds, who get a leg up. Now, just get your head mm. around that. A third of their intake comes from financially disadvantaged students. If you remove the charitable status from public schools, you take away, first of all, the incentive for them to do any good in their communities, and you increase the burden mm. on those who are paying for it. And what's going to happen? You're going to damage this fantastic institution that we have in the United Kingdom, and there will be no benefit for the state schools. And that's the point. What Keir Starmer lacks is any vision for how to increase the quality of education in the state sector. That's what he needs to focus mm. on, and he needs to stop attacking something that actually works incredibly well and fulfills a fantastic charitable purpose. Well, well Linda, what would you say to that? Because as Ben pointed out, a third of the pupils that went to this particular school were actually, you know, were being funded uh, by the school itself. I... So those, pe those kids would go back to... Hang on, let me finish. Those kids would go back to the state sector. So how do you think... What do you, what do you think? Do you think he's a hypocrite? Well, I, well, firstly, I don't think it's hypocritical. I think there's nothing hy hypocritical about Co-Starmer wanting equal education for all. Um, state school education has been underfunded for nearly 13 years now, and teachers are striking next week because that's the dire state the school is in. Working class disadvantaged because of a two-tier education system. Co-Starmer has realised he's benefited from a system that's fundamentally wrong. Why are private schools not tax. They're not charitable. They pick and choose. And actually, I would fact check They're what charitable. Ben is saying because no, no, they are four percent. Four percent only offer for bursaries. Four percent. That's not enough. That's not a third. I would fact check that. And actually, they're not taxed. Why are they not taxed? Can I Why? ask you, Narinda? Narinda, they're can I making ask you, profit. Narinda, did you go to a private school? I didn't go to private school, but actually, I will confess, I sent my children to private school, but I regret right. that bitterly. I regret it bitterly. So, so did, 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 your, did, your child, did your child finish private school then? So they went through the private school system? No, we took them, we took them out and put them in a state school because I, I felt it was just so fundamentally wrong. And the children there that were on a bursary, there was one or two children in the whole year. That is not a third. That's not right. And well, they should not be put in the they, they would of have the public their... purse. Let, let Ben respond. N Narinda, they would have their charitable status stripped of them if they weren't providing a genuine charitable endeavour, a charitable service. So it just, it just can't be right that the school that you cited is giving such small service, as it were, to the charitable sector. It just can't be right. And the other thing, I, by the way, I agree with you, there's a two-tier system. You have the private schools that are fantastic and you have the state schools that are rubbish. But you don't bring up the state schools by damaging... The private schools, what, you, what, the, what the Labour Party has to do and what politicians generally have to do is stop focusing on the politics of envy and start focusing on the improvement across the board for everyone to be educated. Well, what do you say but to that? I mean, it feels happening. like a race to the bottom. They're not... It's not fair at all. They've been severely underfunded public schools have. They need more money. Why are private schools not taxed? Tax them, put some more money so that we have... The most important thing as a taxpayer is to have equal education for our children, whether you are poor or whether you are rich. And actually, the emphasis should be on greater education. It needs to be a level playing field. And then it is not a level playing field at all because people are going to send their children to private school. And actually, the schools are making profit. No, they're not. not. I was going to just say hold on, that. Hold on, let, let Ben respond. You have to make a profit. It, you cannot hold charitable status and make a profit. You have to be not for profit. 
And the, then, this, this idea... This, this let him finish. Let him, Narinda, let him finish. You, you don't improve the state sector by damaging the private sector. It's just a fundamentally flawed politics of envy, redistribution of wealth, socialist concept. It just doesn't work. What, 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 what Keir Starmer should do is focus on how he's going to improve standards in the state school and let the private sector get on with what it's doing because it's doing it incredibly well and with a charitable endeavour that helps the country. Well, what would you say I, to that? I did I disagree with that so much. I, it's no, not no, 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 no. anybody trying. They pick and choose which children could come in by taking tests. How is that charitable, Ben? OK, can I, can I just say, can I just say, can I, OK, well, look, look, I went to a private school. I started off actually at a comprehensive school, then I went to a private school, um, and I, my parents had to pay for my education. Uh, but there were plenty of children there who were being supported and paid for, and scholarship kids. But not only that, I'll give you an example of what some of this private school do. Uh, this particular school, uh, every week, has a minibus that picks up loads of the elderly and takes them to the school and feeds them and does all this. So they do charitable things as well. And I think that's something that Keir Starmer is missing with, with his ideas. I don't and think he's missing that at all. He's actually saying it's fundamentally wrong. He's looked at the system that he was in through a bursary, may I add, so it's, he's not been a hypocrite but at all. Narinda, what's and actually, his vision? He's, he's what's fundamentally his vision for the so state sector? Just... Uh, apart from removing charitable status and, 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 and forcing these charitable entities now to cease their charitable hey, activities. What's his vision for the state sector? How is he going to improve the state sector? He's going to raise maybe another 1% of funding by adding VAT to the bills of, uh, of private schools. How is that extra 1% of funding going to help him improve the state sector? What's his vision for the state sector? Well, we, we need more public funding into schools. If there's anything that we need more public funding, I'd say take a little bit from the NHS. We need it in our schools because children deserve an equal... Educate, yes. From the NHS. The money that goes the there. Wait, the NHS that's got just about 7 million people on the waiting list and is currently working out how they're going to send an ambulance to you within well, within a day. Are you serious? Well, well, they get so much money and I think schools need it more. Our children need an equal education. We need uh, okay. more funding into our state schools because they're in a dire state. Children aren't important. That's true.